Today we are going to discuss about the math functions. In these math functions, uh, basically the all the math functions in the DAX are used uh, to calculate or to summarize or to do the how the uh, arithmetic operators are doing. Those functions can be done by the math functions. In these fun math functions, generally the math functions uh, will be used in the integers or find out the integers and uh, currency values round round up round down divide even odd power square root factorial sign summarizations and uh, sum of x all the things uh, will be used in the mathematical function that is in a math functions in these math functions you want to find out the integer values only that means if your salary is in digits that is in decimals you want to round the particular decimals or you want to make you want to get all the integer values and you a single thing that means uh, you can use the int function by representing that particular integer value so this in this function also let's take only the one column name it's take only the one column name the, for example if your salary column is there your salary you are getting the salary with an a 12,900.85 rupees or 86 rupees something else so 85 85 pi or 86 so like that if you want to get out all the uh, salary values the decimal values into an integer values you are using the int values and if you are using a currency this currency will represent you that if you want to uh, change the currency symbols or the currency values you can use the currency values or else if you are having any decimal values over there these decimal values can be rounded up into any integer values by using the round and this round and integer will functioning will be the same and it is a very similar to that particular int and the round functions so you can use the round round up and round down that means if your uh, decimal value is dot five that means greater than that means if uh, the decimal value is uh, above five it's take as a rounding as an adding plus one if your round value is uh, that means uh, below five then keep that particular value as an same for example 1295 pies so that particular 95 will be rounded into an a one and it will make as an a 1201 if that particular uh, that means 1204 means then it makes it only 1200 so like this if you want to round up your digital that means round up your decimal values you can use these two functions that is a round and round up and round down and if you want to use the arithmetic operator, how the arithmetic operator we are using in this DAX function, like that only we can use the divide function. So in the previously, we already discussed about the how to use the and symbol in the place of and function and or symbol in the place of or function. So like this, you can use the divide function to use the divide in the place of divide symbol. And if you want to divide your uh, salary and the bonus, you can use the salary and bonus if you are not getting any bonus amount you will get a zero automatically so like that you can use the divide function and same like that uh, you have to use the even odd power square root factorial and the sign this sign will have any special advantages that means the sign will work in the special advantages why because if you are getting any negative values uh, for example if you take a sales uh, sales database this sales database will have a profit. Every sales function will have a profit losses. So this sign will represent you that it identifies the negative profits are getting, zero profits are getting, or positive profits you are getting. That means negative values, zero values, and the positive values. That means you have the minus one, zero, and one. So this sign symbol, this sign will be used to identify the sales of the profit and it's make the NSI profit number that will gives the number that is a zero one or minus one and by using the visualization methods each mathematical function on the DAX uh, majority of the DAX functions will be connected with the visualizations if the difference is not coming in the tabular form must be the difference will be reflect in the visualizations must be it reflects in the visualizations so like the sign also it will be uh, not shows and very effective in the tabular format but if you use this uh, data in the visualization it, it shows some differences and it shows some uh, specific uh, specifications when you are performing the 
visualization methods by using the sign and you can use the switch after using the sign then the it shows the positive uh, profit numbers or the negative profit numbers or the zero profit numbers by using these uh, dax functions let's uh, go to the practice session and i will show you a few uh, mathematical functions why because these mathematical functions are the very easy and uh, no need to work out on all the things so we'll go in a few dax functions Here I loaded the sales data, right? I will load the few more uh, data sets. I loaded the uh, adventure verse data and I'm go again going to load the employer's data also. Load the data set uh, according to the particular functions. I'm taking the department table, employer table, and uh, what are the details in that's not required. So I'm taking the two tables from the employer data set. I loaded the uh, two more tables uh, in the Power BI. So now I have the department table, employment table, and the sales table. Here, uh, let's uh, check for the integer value first. Uh, check the which table you have the integer values over there. In the employment salary, we don't have the decimal values here, so we'll go with an, a sales table. We'll check whether the sales table will have any decimal values to convert them into an integer values. Yeah, here we have an, a uh, product uh, standard cost, total product cost, sales medium, sales amount. So these are all in the decimal, so we will apply here. The sales, I'm taking in a new column. In the new column, uh, my the column name is salary int is equal to, I'm using the function of integer, that means int function. And here, if you see the syntax in the int function, it, it asking the only the number. That means I'm giving the unit price, the sales unit price i am giving in the sales unit price if you check here it's a decimal of 4.99 so if you check here the 4.99 you see in the sales integer so it got around the four so it's not taking the after the decimal after the dot it's not taking the any decimal values and it's take only the four value and it shows the only the integer values not the decimal values so the int function will use for the uh, representing only the integer values not all the decimal values let's take only the integer values so if you want to get the decimal values also you can use the same symbol uh, why can't we use the dax function not for the decimal values you can use the <clears throat> in the transform you can reduce those decimal values normally but if you want to use the DAX function, you can use this DAX function to uh, get the only the integer values uh, as in a separate column. And ne the next function is about the currency. So if you want to get the currency by using the sales amount, you will get the currency. So I'll take the one more new column. Taking the column name as uh, sales, 
is equal to currency the value is about the sales amount in sales we have the sales amount enter so the sales amount is in the normal uh, if you see here the sales amount will be the 4.99 in the normal mode if i am using the currency we'll get the dollar symbol that means defaultly the currency will take the dollar symbol defaultly the currency will take the dollar symbol and it will shows with a representation of the currency and it shows the representation of the currency that means the amount will represents the any one of the value that either the currency as in a dollar or the rupee or something else if you are default it will guess the currency value if you want to change the currency format you can use the uh, different uh, functions that you can use the change the uh, dollar symbols default it will get the dollar symbol only so you can use the currency values as in a dollar only that represents the dollar only and the next function is round why this round is used means it the round is used to same uh, like how the int function will works this round function is also for the same category the round means uh, you can uh, check the same like that uh, take the new one more column take the one more column and you can use the i am using the column name as pound sale is equal to pound if you see here the round will accept the first as in a number that number i am giving as uh, the total product cost total product cost and it's asking the number of digits it means how many number of digits it has to accept so i'm giving in a zero and making that uh, total product cost uh, if you see the product cost total product cost where is it uh, yeah if you see the total product cost it's a uh, 1.8663 you click on enter it's take the value as only the one or right uh, the two value as two that means if uh, 1.86 that is any greater than Five. That means dot five is uh, more. So it's taking the value. We can use the same function as round up. Round up. In the roundup, it takes the same value. You can use the one here to take the difference. So one means it's taking the one integer value. That means a dot one decimal value. So it's going rounding up the one point nine. One point nine. So if you use the sound, uh, same that it is a round down, that will use same like as an integer values only. So integer and round down will be the same equal. It's a defaultly you'll get the dollar symbol only, ma'am. Uh, why? Because the currency it's a defaultly fixed to the do dollar. If you want to change the currency symbol, you can use the some other DAX functions, uh, and that particular reference will goes within a power query. You can use the symbols, and you can uh, make some changes over there. Round up. 
round down so it's take only the one so it's not taking the decimal values so this is the function used for the round down and the next one is uh, which the divides uh, function this divide function is same like uh, it works like as an a how the dividation will be used in between of the two columns in the previously we already did for the arithmetic operators in the arithmetic operators we applied the divide by using the divide symbol not with any divide function in this uh, divide function we can use the divide that means the numerator by the denominator <coughs> and optionally you can give the alternative result why the alternative result is required means if you are getting an infinity over between the numerator and the denominator it shows the blank values here i will uh, show you here i'll take the one more column i'll apply this uh, function in the employee table why because uh, in the sales table you have a lot of uh, tables over there so i will apply the in the employee table we will apply the divide function this divide function will have a more effective when you are uh, using the uh, two columns if you are getting any new thing that means i will use the divide salary is equal to divide salary is equal to divide function here you have to give the first numerator value so in the numerator value i am giving the employer salary i am giving the employer salary comma i am not using the divide symbol here i am using the just comma and i am giving the denominator value as bonus bonus you can use the, you can give the alternative result it's an optional if you want to give the alternative results you can give otherwise if you click on the enter it's will divide the functions of the salary and the bonus and it gets the only the values and if the bonus value is the, if you check in the employee ready one you don't have the bonus value here that means the bonus value will be the zero zero that means the denominator value is zero automatically the numerator value will also get by the zero that uh, it gets an infinity so for that reason you won't get any values here if you see the employee ready one and the employee ready seven and employee ready 15 16 it throws the blank why because we are not giving the optional result over here so it shows the blank in the employer id that means in the divide function in the divide function if you want to give as an optional you want to get the result if uh, the denominator is uh, zero you want to get the option that the dividation salary is zero means you can give the salary as zero then that particular values will get the zero then the particular values will get the zero if you want to round up these values you got the divided salary will be the zero seven point five eight point three two point two five two five so like this you got so now you can use this now you can use the round salary round salary that is equal to round which function you are using divided salary comma zero then you got that if the 7.5 is there then it got 8 8.333 it got 8 why because this is a below of the 0.5 so it's taking only the 8 so if you see the difference here this is the divided salary with a zero values and this is a rounded salary that means we are making as any rounded values how the we are making the 0.5 if the 0.5 more than 0.5 we are making as an adding one if we are below the 0.5 we are not adding anything and we are keeping the same value that means we are removing that particular decimal values we are removing that particular decimal values and you can use the roundup for the even on the roundup for the odd of the nearest values this even function and the odd function will also work the same thing 
that means the rounding of the zero values and the negative values and we can use the sign values to give the better and the uh, first thing uh, this sign uh, will work in the sales so i will show you the why because we don't have the profit and sales in the employee table employee table so in the profits table if you see here the profits you see here the profits you have the values of the negative values that is a minus values and zeros and plus values yes so you want to get these uh, negative values so that means if you got the profit with a negative profits and if you <coughs> got the profits of the positive profits or if you got the zero profits you want to get by sign representation you want to get this not like you get the those negative formats or positive profits or the uh, zero profits so for that reason we are creating in a one more column the sales table i'm creating the new column that is profit sign i'm using the name of the column is profit sign i'm using the function as sign function and it asking the number the number means you have to give the column name which column you want to change the values either the positive that is a 1 0 or minus 1 if you have a values uh, that is a negative values positive values and the zero values over there you can use that particular column name in our table we have that particular column in the profits column so i am using the sales profit i am using the sales profit i want to get the values in the positive negative and the zero values for that representation purpose i am using the profits table if you see in the profit sign now we got only the three values that is a minus 1 0 and 1 if you see the same values in the profits table we have the more values here with all the representation i don't want all these details here i want only the details of how many plus are there how many minus are there how many zeros are there for that if you see the visualization i am taking a single table over here i am taking a table <clears throat> in this table i am getting the i am getting the product sign i am getting the product sign over here i don't want the summarizations i need don't summarize so i got the values uh, i want to increase this i am making this uh, table i am using the method i am going to the giving the background and giving the border i want to change the style default i want to apply general
yeah i got the values so that is a minus one zero so here i want to get the sales amount so i got the sales amount like if you see here The sales amount will get the negative values. The sales total sales amount is uh, ten thousand, and uh, for zero values we got the sales amount here, and uh, one values we got the sales amount here. So you want to get the values uh, that what is the name of that particular value? That means sign of the values. We have the one minus one and all the things. You want to get the name of the values. That means we can use the switch statement. We can use the switch function to get the name of values to get the Name values. So I'm using the profit sign name. Profit sign name is equal to. I'm using the switch function here to get the names. <clears throat> so expression means we have to give the column name. That is uh, profit sign column name, and I'm using the value one as one. And what the result you have to display if you have the one? One means that is a positive profit. Positive profit. If you want to show zero, what value you have to display if the zero is there means zero profit. Zero profit. Or else. I have to give the negative profit. Negative profit. So I am using the switch function here. This function, uh, switch function, will use to give whether in this uh, profit sign, if the one value is there, automatically it will switch to the positive profit. If the value is zero, then it gives shows it displays the zero profit. Or else, if not the one and the zero, if any value is there, it will switch to the <coughs> negative profits. Negative profits. So if you see here, we have the values of the negative profits, positive profits, and zero profits. If you check in the visualization, how it will reflect means. Profit sign name. So if you see here, so minus one is a negative profit, one is a zero profit, and zero is a Zero profit. So it shows clearly that negative values will represent the negative profits. How much of negative profits you are getting? The sales amount of the ten thousand five sixty. So this much of a sales amount we are getting in a negative profits. This much of a sales amount we are getting in a positive profits, and zero profits we are getting a that much. So these are the values we are getting by using the profit sign.
also the profit sign will have the negative values with the sales amount and one will have the positive sales and zero will have the zero sales so in this uh, it it clearly shows that <coughs> it clearly shows that uh, how many values you have the positive and the negative values so that is a use of the positive sign value it shows the profits and loss if any losses are there it shows the negative losses that is considered as a loss and uh, positive will considered as a positive and zero will considered as a zero profits so this is the function we are using the uh, profit sign this sign will represent say that the negative values positive values or zero values these three values it uh, represents only in the profits you have the different values you have these different values will be summarized and it shows the positive and the negatives so this is the use of the profit and the profit sign and pro profit sign name i am making them into any simplification in the visualization model it shows the clear view about the how much of profits you got in the positive how much of uh, sales you got the negative and all the things Thus, that is about the science uh, math functions in these math functions it shows the all the things which you are using in the uh, arithmetic operators using in the arithmetic operators next uh, we have the the next we are using